Guten Tag, meine Damen und Herren, es ist Zeit für Baseball. Welcome to Bonn Capitals versus the Paderborn Untouchables in the first the best of five playoffs, semifinals, game one. Still got a pretty good turnout tonight, of course, this being the semifinal, game one. And a chubber down the right field line, bounces it into right. As Justice Recchi comes up with the ball, throws it into Brink, covering second. And just like that, the Untouchables have Latifi on first base, nobody out. But the Untouchables know you get to a pitcher early on in the game, you can throw him off. Chopper down, past third base into left field. Goebbels come up with the ball, throws it back into the infield, and nobody out. And the Untouchables have runners on first and second. Finger last year helping to clean the field and to rake the field specifically. That comes in for a ball. Oh, sorry. That was a strikeout. The umpire called that a strike. It looked like it was heading low, but let's chalk that up to the first strikeout of the night for Sasha Koch. Swing and a miss. He strikes him out for the second strikeout of the inning. Runners take their lead. The pitch is outside and he loses him. Cardoso goes to first base with a walk. Sacks are full. Yeah, you can hear from the bench, from the Paderborn bench, they're making a lot of noise. Uh. And a swing and a fly into right field. Recky camps under, grabs it, and escape from trouble for Sasha Koch. And he strikes him out. He was on his way down to first base, Foku was. Well, three and oh, and then a strikeout <laughs> is not too bad. No. No, uh, Sasha found that guy getting away and uh, said not so fast. And the umpire also said not so fast as he was on his way down to first. Almost an equal amount, just sort of to third base and then only to the opposite field about 10% of the time. Swing and a miss, he strikes him out. That's two down, two strikeouts for Hoch in this uh, second inning. Very good game so far. Swing and a miss, and that's three up, three strikeouts for Sasha Koch. And if you're really into the numbers, if you really want to know, he's got a 521 slugging average. And a fair ball down the third baseline. Lamb Hunt throws on to first. He got him. That was a very nice throw, so. Very nice play by Daniel Lamb Hunt to grab that ball almost behind him and throw it on to first base. So let's put a little star by that one. And the pitch comes in and he goes around and that's a strikeout. So that's the second time he struck out tonight, Hints. Obviously someone brought their computer today. And he swings and he misses strikeout and that ends the inning. Sasha gets out of another jam. Yeah. And as we head to the bottom of the third inning. See a lot of green today, obviously, both teams sporting the green color. And the yellow. And the yellow. Swing and that's inside. just fair ball down the right field line. It just bounced fair, bounces and foul. Van Miso comes to score as Wilson Lee hits a key double here in the bottom of the third inning to put Bond in front, one nothing. One nothing Bond over the Untouchables, and we have a very interesting pitching change. Sasha Koch is not pitching this inning. It is Moritz Wilhelm on the mound, and he strikes Struck him out. out. In his second, one out now in the inning with that strikeout. That's uh, the second time Benjamin has struck out in the game. Okay, we'll <laughs> leave it at that. He's engaged to Natalie, so everything's That's fine. Very and nice, and he out. strikes out. Is third batter very nice replacement for Sasha Koch in this inning? As we hear a thunderstruck one more time. This is Leonard Veloff's music. Yeah, let's let's knock on some wood. No, nope, but it's anyway r pouring out rain. So <laughs> and a hit into right field. The right fielder goes back, back, and misses it at the fence. Coming around into second, he finds himself with a with a. Okay, let's back up a bit on this play. So he went back thinking the outfielder was going to catch that ball. Yeah, yeah. And then he had to and hurry up. <laughs> I thought I was seeing Veller out there at second, but Recky had to go back to first to tag. 
he's at second. Action in the Bond bullpen. No, in the in the Padabon in the Padabon bullpen. bullpen. My apologies. And a hit down to first base. First baseman throws it on to second high, and it's over his head into left field. He comes around and he scores. That was an interesting play. Recky comes around to score. As Andy Stummel is at first. And Leonard Veller comes into second with respect to the runners out on the bases. High no. pop up as it as the second baseman goes out and the right fielder goes out, but he loses it in the rain and it drops and all the runners advance. The bases are loaded. The second mistake in a row, so. Yeah, th again, please keep in mind if you're watching the game yeah, that these players are dealing with tough conditions. Big pitch coming up here to Kevin Van Meensel. Matt Kemp on the mound. Two nothing Bond with the bases loaded for Bond. The pitch. And a hit, a single into the right, into left field. As he comes around and scores, second runner comes in, throw down to home plate is cut, and he scores. Stumble scores. That'll drive in two, yep. four nothing ball. So that was the right time for a hit. That was a nice call again by Angela. And Kevin Van Meensel, clutch hitting. I mean, it's amazing they still play baseball. Look at the rain all the time, you know, it's like. And a hit into shallow right field as a runner, as the second baseman goes back and right fielder comes in and he makes the catch. No, he drops it. It comes out of his glove and he throws home and, and brings scores to make it five nothing Bond. So. Did he drop it? I, I couldn't see it. it, it yeah, it, he dropped the ball. It was a bit tough to see because when it landed, it looked like he came up with it in his glove and then you saw the second baseman actually run around him. So obviously and grab the it. conditions are not easy out there when you look up into the yeah. rain, you know, so. Yeah, indeed. Chris Goble, 476 on the season. Struck out in the third. Flew out to center on the second. And a high chopper back up the middle. The shortstop runs in, bobbles the ball, throws it to first. Slide into first. Safe. And he's safe. Hard to find the umpire on that call. <laughs> but he's safe at first yeah, yeah, as the run was, comes in and scores. He was diving on to first base. I mean, this is not very often that you see somebody diving on into first base. No, so. no. And it's questionable whether it's quicker or not, but he did it nonetheless. And the score, it's the good nothing. news, of course, is 6 nothing for Bond. Do you have these facilities here? I know we keep going on about the facilities. We never had that in, in Berlin. All right, runner breaks for a second. Latifi, but he strikes Strike him out. out to end the inning. So Wilhelm comes on, is the magic man. Uh, and, and one of the other states, I think it was Pittsburgh they were talking to. A swing and a miss, and Strike he strikes out. out. Looks in at the long lasting Benjamin. Benjamin. Out. Oh, and he, the umpire strike calls him out on strikes, and yep, there was a big delay on that call. Anyway, he is out. That's two out now in the top of the sixth inning. Tonight, he's one for one. Two RBIs, two runs, walk, stolen Ooh. base. Oh, and that bat goes. And this is happens when, that, it's when everything is wet. That almost went farther than his double. He's, <laughs> as he loses control of that bat and it and it heads out into the third base foul area you know it, it's uh, it's amazing there's uh, hasn't been more bats flying around uh, besides van Meensel's earlier you used to look at a swing like lee's and you wonder how he can hold on to that thing uh, th the bat being so wet that comes in high one and one I'm not sure why he wore his, uh, as he digs, as he paws at I the mean, this is not a mount anymore. This is... One would think they brought, you know, you'd think you need some wellies out there instead of baseball cleats. He could grow some rice in there. I'm not saying that they should call this game, but a few of the players, I saw them, two of them in a canoe out in right field heading out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Finally have called this game, Angela. Um, because the mound is not a mound anymore. <laughs> it's a muddy something. It's quicksand. Uh, let me just wrap, do a little final total here yeah. before we finally say goodbye. So uh, a six run final, uh, seven hits for Bond to Paderborn's three, two errors in the game, one for each team.